Get $3 off every order at PlayAsia by using the code CENSORED. The use of skeletons, both alive and dead, are a popular trope in not just video games, but all fictional media. Games like the LucasArts adventure game Grim Fandango, for example, even features a cast made up of nearly nothing but skeletons, including the game's protagonist Manny Calavera, a travel agent in the Land of the Dead. Skeletons are also a popular enemy in many games, and even Disney has various skeleton characters under its wing, such as Jack Skeleton from The Nightmare Before Christmas, who is depicted here in their appearance in the game Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm sure you'll be able to think of many other times where you have seen skeletons in games, however there's one region in the world where doing this might be a bit harder. It's no secret that China has some very strict censorship policies and this doesn't just include games, but everything from what people can search on the internet to what you can print in books, and with a population of nearly 1.5 billion, these are laws that are affecting a lot of human beings. All games released in China must first be approved by the State Administration of Press, Publication, Radio, Film and Television. During this submission process, China's censors will check that games do not contain any of this restricted content. Gambling related content or game features, anything that violates China's constitution, anything that threatens China's national unity, sovereignty or territorial integrity, anything that harms the nation's reputation, security or interests, anything that instigates racial or ethnic hatred or harms ethnic traditions and cultures, anything that violates China's policy and religion by promoting cults or superstitions, anything that promotes or incites obscenity, drug use, violence or gambling, anything that harms public ethics or China's culture and traditions, anything that insults, slanders or violates the rights of others, as well as any other content that violates the law. What does all of this have to do with skeletons though? Well, one of these restrictions is responsible for making finding skeletons in Chinese games extremely rare, with them virtually always being censored out of Chinese versions of games. See here for example, which shows the western version of World of Warcraft on the left and the Chinese release on the right. The law in question is China's ban on content which violates China's policy on religion by promoting cults or superstitions. Due to the risk of violating the rules on things like superstitions, the depiction of skeletons is something that commonly gets removed from games in China. This doesn't just include full body skeletons either, with things like just this school on a treasure chest getting removed. Also, sometimes the localizers can get rather creative with the censorship, as seen here in CSGO, where the school and crossbones on some gloves were changed to puppy paws. Another example of some creative edits can be found in the MMO Wizard 101, where the skeleton dragon is made extremely colourful, or the creature here which was turned into some sort of zebra. Even popular card games such as Magic the Gathering have made many changes in China because of it. As remember, this law affects everything that is filtered through the Chinese state administration of press, publication, radio, film and television. However, despite there being just so many changes of this nature, it would actually be wrong to say that skeletons are straight up banned in China. After all, the law in question is to do with violating China's policy on religion by promoting cults or superstitions. And some of you may argue that simply having a skeleton in a game doesn't do this at all. Unfortunately though, the guidelines are left vague so it's hard to even work out what's okay and what's not. Some even argue that the rules are left intentionally vague to allow them to police things as they see fit, or to put people in a strict self-censorship mentality out of fear of breaking the rules. It is true however that skeletons are not completely banned in China. Shown here is a skeleton in the MMO Age of Wushu, a game that was developed in China itself. And here is a skeleton in another Chinese developed game, Ghost Story. It is likely that some publishers are being overly cautious when bringing their games to China, due to how vague the rules seem to be. Even if they don't censor everything though, China does still censor many things containing this type of content, although possibly one day this is something that may be improved. You see, China's censorship of cults and superstitions actually made the news recently due to the state censors deciding to relax the rules a little for China's movie industry. Whilst up until now, anything containing things like zombies, vampires, werewolves, mummies and ghosts had been banned by the government, including Sony Pictures Ghostbusters being denied a release last year, things are now starting to change. Granted, however, the reason for the change is due to the government seeing box office profits fall and wanting to stimulate the market. But regardless, this year has seen the surprise release of movies such as Resident Evil The Final Chapter and Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, both of which would have been banned previously. 
The question, however, is one, whether this more relaxed approach in the movie industry will last or will it be changed back when the market improves? And two, could the government possibly do the same for games one day and allow uncensored versions of the countless games censored in China into the country, or even games that they wouldn't currently allow at all? Whilst these points are not yet known, Sensor Gaming will be watching how things develop and as always, we'll be sure to let you know of any changes and other points of interest. Until next time, thank you for watching.